Welcome back to this module on strings. In this part, we'll cover how to process data stored in strings. Strings often contain formatted data. Commonly, this includes simple comma-separated value or tab-separated value formats. Tokenization is the process of splitting a string up along some defined delimiter and processing each part or token separately. For example, if we had the following data about a person and their professional address, each piece of data is delimited by a comma. Our goal is to split those out into separate tokens as follows. Generally, we end up ignoring the delimiter, in this case a comma, and don't include them in the resulting tokens. We can do this using a string library function called strtoke, short for string tokenization. It takes two arguments, a string to tokenize and a list of delimiters. Its usage is a bit different from what you're used to. The first time that you call it, you pass it the string that you want to tokenize. However, each subsequent call, you need to pass it null as the first argument to tell it to continue tokenizing the original string. Finally, it returns a pointer to the next token, which is automatically null terminated. So take note, it will actually modify your string as it tokenizes, replacing each delimiter with the null terminator. Let's take a look at a demonstration. So here I've got the same string containing data about Hedy Lamar, and I want to tokenize it. strtoke will actually return a pointer to a string, which is going to be pointing to the token, but when it reaches the end of the string, it'll be null. That'll be how we know that we're at the end of the string. We call it the first time to begin tokenizing on the string str. While strtoke has not returned a null pointer, we'll go ahead and process it. And by process, in this instance, we're just printing it out, but you could imagine doing something more sophisticated with it. Then we'll set ourselves up for the next iteration of this loop. By calling strtoke again, but on null, and then the same delimiter. And it'll tokenize like this. The delimiter is actually important. If we tokenized along spaces, there's only one space in the string, so we would only get two tokens. If we tokenized on a letter, say A, then it would split it up along any instance of A. Note that it did not split it up on the capital A. That's because it's case sensitive. We can include multiple tokens by including multiple characters in our delimiter string. Then it will include the capital A in Avery. You can include as many tokens as you like, and you can even change them on each call to str toke. Here's a visualization of that process. On the first call, the first delimiter was changed to a null terminating character. The pointer is pointing to the beginning of our string. So when we print out token, we're effectively only printing out those first four characters. On the next call, the pointer will be updated to the next token, and the next delimiter will be changed to a null terminating character. And so on. And so forth. At this point, all of our delimiters have been changed to null terminating characters. 
the last null terminator that str toke sees will result in it to returning null and ending the loop. Let's confirm that it changed our string. Now, because of that inserted null terminating character, our string str is no longer the CSV data. Instead, it's only the first token. So if you need to tokenize data, but preserve the original, you'll need to make a deep copy and tokenize the copy instead of the original. 